Hey guys, Manor Morty here again with another not video. Well, we're gonna do a polymer knot this time. That's Paula Omar knot. And let me undo the bowling knot that I had tied around Fisher's collar piece. Alright. So basically the polymer knot is used for braided lines. I don't like do a lot of musky fishing and polymer knot on a big musky lure unless you're gonna I don't know I just like doing the super improved clinch knot that I talked about but this is the V knot for braid I guess it works really well don't get me wrong um, it's just not the knot I typically use but that's why I'm gonna show you and go over it because very good knot very good knot and it's very super easy half these knots are so easy <clears throat> so basically, let me confuse you with all this extra rope here. All right. So basically, we're gonna take our this is a braided line now, not camo, quarter inch, and three eighths inch uh, rope. But basically, we're gonna take our braided line. This is a lure now. This is a, we'll call this a, a big swim bait, big tub of glue paint. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we got our braid line. This is a tag in. We're going to fold it over and create a bite. So a bite in any rope line is when you bend it over and you create a, a, a loop. So we're going to take our bite and we're going to make a big bite because this is a, a big, this is why I don't really care for the knot, but we're going to make a big bite for a big lure here. And we're gonna take our bite, we're gonna feed it through. And now, just like all the other knots, she's in there. Now, I don't know if you've ever tied your shoelaces at all, but you use a knot called the overhand knot, which I'll go over that real quick too. Everybody knows the overhand knot. Basically, you, it'll be easier on this side. Basically, you cross it over, and then you tuck it under, and you pull it down. Over knot, overhand knot. So we're gonna do that with a bite. So we got a bite, big bite, big chunk, and we're gonna we're gonna do double. So double, one overhand knot, but two pieces. So we're gonna cross her over. I'm, this is going to switch sides now because of the overhand. See? Now we got our overhand. And now, with this big loop on our, our, our bite end, we're going to feed it around. See how I did that? I just kind of threw it and dropped it. That's going to it's gonna go around like that. Our lure. And then you're going to take... Oh, where are we at here? There's our... Okay. So you're going to take the tag end and your main braid line end and you're going to, I don't know how else is going to pull together with the rope, but we might have to feed it a little. Yeah, we'll just feed it. You just pull it tight. And there she is. That's a polymer knot. Now, the reason why this knot's really good is because the way it doubles up when you tie it, it's A, it's in a good configuration, but B, because it's doubled up, it's that much less likely to slip because, like, braid is a hard line, yada, yada, yada. And it's always kind of got a, well, some brands have more of a, almost like a waxiness to them. But that aside, hard lines, polymer knot. Or you could do my method and do the improved or double improved clinch knot. But that's what we got. We'll just kind of work this thing loose here. So feel feel <laughs> feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, Maynor Morty will be doing some more videos here. I'm gonna do a few more knots. I'm gonna hit the river here. I get a when the weather gets good. It's the last couple days have been. 
Well, it looks like we're going to have a thunder shower tonight. But I'm going to hit the river, do some smallmouth fishing, go from there. And, uh, oh, we got a squid, squid fishing video coming out. And I'm hoping I can get some oh, primo underwater footage of squid doing their thing. They're just the coolest. But anyways, thank you guys. Mater Morty, out!